55 nation political and security committee of the United Nations, here's Jewish and Arab representatives submit their views on the vital Palestine issue. Dr. Abba Hillel Silver of Cleveland presents the recommendations of the Jewish agency. I believe that the committee of inquiry should most certainly visit Palestine. Written documents are important, but infinitely more instructive are the living documents, the visible testimony of creative effort and achievement. In Palestine, they will see what the Jewish people, inspired by the hope of reconstituting their national home after the long, weary centuries of their homelessness, and relying upon the honor and the pledged word of the world community, has achieved in a few short years against great odds and seemingly insurmountable physical handicaps. We hope that that people, now rebuilding again its national life and its ancient homeland, will be welcomed before long by you to this noble fellowship of the United Nations. Next day, speaking for the Arab Higher Committee, is a Jerusalem lawyer, Henry Catan, who declares, the Arab people are deeply anxious to find a just and lasting solution to the problem before you, because it is their own problem, the problem of their present life and their future destiny. No one is concerned with it as much as they are, since it involves their very existence as a people. It is high time that Palestine's right to independence be recognized and that this tormented country enjoy the blessing of a democratic government. It is high time also that a policy which has been impairing the ethnological and political structure of the country be brought to an end by the highest body of the world.